Hi guys, it's Reese, and today I'm going to be doing a little reflection on 2021 and sort of my entire year. To be honest, it doesn't really feel like that long since I did one of these last year. So it's kind of weird. I didn't expect this year to go so fast. To sum up my year, I finished my first sort of year of university. I'm now in level five. I think even though my first year was the COVID year basically where all of the most strict rules and regulations were in for the whole year, I still think it, I had a great time and made good use out of it. Like, I don't feel like I've missed out too much on studying, on opportunities because of it. I think at most looking back now while I'm doing in-person classes, it would have been nice to do them, but also that's just not how my year went and that's okay. I still managed to make plenty of friends and move into a house with them and I think I'd be able to come closer to different people on my course this year which is really nice as well. So I think I've still had everything that I've wanted. Outside of university I'm still so proud of the things I'm doing like I'm still really proud that I'm working with Amnesty on their Rise Up program. I think Rise Up has been one of the best parts of my year. I think going to London, meeting all these fantastic people from across the country and getting to kind of step away from what I want to do in the future and what I want to do at university and think about what's happening now and what's happening around me because that is really important to me. I'm quite a political person. As well, I've passed my one year milestone for being on testosterone um, and I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with where I'm going with my transition. I've had my first appointment about top surgery as well. So I'm hopefully in 2022, leading up to 2023, I should have a good idea about when I can actually have top surgery, which is a massive deal for me. So yeah, overall, I think this has been a good year. There's definitely been some low points, but that's okay. I think the good really has outweighed the bad. Personally, I just think I've had a good year. And I hope 2022 will also be good. My kind of hopes for the next year is that I want to do well in my studies. Obviously, I'll be finishing level five and starting my final year of university. And so there's a lot to do and lot to think of. This time next year, I want to be saying, I've been doing loads of work, but I'm really hopeful for finishing my course next year. And I already want to feel like that now. <laughs> I don't really have any New Year's resolutions, but I think one of them is definitely continuing doing stuff outside of university and outside of work that I am passionate about and continuing sort of this trend so that I don't get consumed by either. <laughs> so I think that's about it for now. So I hope everyone has had a great 2021 as well. And if you haven't, let's hope for 2022 to being an even better year than this year. I'll see you guys in the new year, probably.